Living as Christians at home, having talked about living as a Christian husband, woman and women, widows, oh, oh, all the women. We now turn to children. And here we are not talking about minors. Under 18 only. We are talking about anyone who has parents, who has living parents. An example is the one talking to you. My father went to be with the Lord in 2006. I had just married. About six, seven, seven, seven months after our marriage, she went to be with the Lord. So I do not have a father, but my mother is alive. And I'm a child to my mother. On the other side, I have my father-in-law, I have my mother-in-law. And so I have four parents. And this message is direct on me as a child. And many of us here, minors and 
Anyone else with parents? All of us, you know, majority of us are in, in that category. Probably a few, and I don't think they can go even beyond 10, for example. Like our brother, senior citizen Mutangili, for example, I know his parents went to be with the Lord. He doesn't have parents. But he has children, and he has grandchildren. And so this message touches him indirectly. He has something to get on behalf of his kids. And everyone here, this message is for us. Let me see those of us who have parents at home. You know Almost everyone. And so this one is not about those who are under their parents. It is about those of us also who have parents who are alive. We are children. And so the Lord is speaking to us that as we leave those, you know, with those parents, aged parents, parents who are still strong, as long as they are called our parents, we need to live with them, exhibiting the life of a Christian. Showing, expressing, and living out as children who are born again. Who have been made alive by God. That is the message that children who are dependent on their parents before they become independent in life. Children who are independent of their parents, who may have parents depended on them or not. Because some of us here have working parents. In fact, I have my, my family. My father is still strong and working. My mother is still strong and working. They are earning. We are not excluding such parents. They are your parents. And so you have a responsibility to them. Now that you are a child of God. I'm talking about Kim. Kim, you are here, stand, please. An example. I gave an example of myself. Mama, you happy? Elizabeth? Akwapa mama. Anafanya kazi. So I'm talking about all of us. As long as we have parents. Where we? Unamuke. Muke ako akwapi? Simam. Akwapi. Akwapi, Georgia? Not here. Where we? Yule ni mamako. Na wewe ni mtoto wake. Na dada kiwa nyumbani. Even if you are independent, you don't depend on them. There is the way the word of God demands you to live with them. As a Christian. And any other child who is here. Amen? Amen. Sit down, Kim. Kim is an example of many others who are here. I am an example also to many others who are here. Titus, you have a parent? You have them. Steve, and so I'm talking about us. Now, us as children may have fathers who provide for us and raise us in the way of God. Mothers who love us and care for us as an elaborate part of the household. In Ephesians 6, Four, chapter 6, verse 4. We see Paul warning specifically fathers against excessive or harsh discipline, which was acceptable. That harsh and excessive discipline, punishing of children by fathers, was acceptable in the Greek and Roman societies by then if I was to talk about 
the relationship between fathers and their wives and their children. Some of you may shed tears because a child was regarded as, as belonging to that home once the father declares. At birth, everyone waited until dad said, this is my son, this is my daughter. In any case, if that child was born with some deformities, many could be rejected and the father declares, this is not one of my own. Throw him to the bush. Take it out there and kill this baby. And that was authority. Akisema amesema. I said here several times, a father during those times in such societies was a supreme being. In fact, it's like he was an executive member of his family. He was the untouchable. In him, and him was the law at home. And so, fathers could really excessively, actually discipline their children. And do some of them found a way to run away from home. But thank God that here comes Christianity, which gives right, number one, to everyone, every Christian, a child, a woman, a slave, at home. Children have had no rights. Don't compare them with today, where a child can take you to police, to court, and you can be fined or jailed by your child. The court will listen to them because they have a right. Then things were not like that. And so when they came to the church, they found a new religion in courts, having all the freedom, equality of all people. They got born again, and now that they, they were free, there was some chaos in the home. And Paul set out Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21, beginning by saying, submit to one another. Husband to wife, wife to husband, children to their parents, and also parents to their children to some extent. And he talked about the dads, the husbands loving their wives and the wives submitting to their husbands. And now chapter 6, he comes to talk to children, Christian children. He talks about that not only in the book of Ephesians, but also in the book of uh, Colossians. And that's why Paul exalted Fathers specifically to bring their children up in the way of the Lord, according to verse 4. Now the bottom line is, children, with either believing or unbelieving parents, should live with them and treat them like children of light. And it doesn't matter whether they are born again, they have the light of Christ in them or not. The children who are born again are supposed, are exalted to live with those parents and treat them like the way Christ would have done the message from the choir. Live with them as a child who is born again, who has Christ in himself. It doesn't matter whether your father, your mother is born again, goes to church or not. It is your duty as a child of God to live with them as Christians. And so the bottom line is that children live with their believing or unbelieving parents. By living with them and treating them 
as Christians. Christ children whose identity in Christ is evident through their lives and specifically in the way they relate, treat and live with their parents. Now living as children who are in Christ is an obligation. At home, we have not come out of home. We are still at home and playing the obligations according to the standard of God that is revealed in his word. That is what qualifies us children to be Christians. And so this morning I'm talking to you and to us on the subject living as children who are Christians. As Christian children. That is very simply put on the screen. We have several scriptures given there. Take note. You read them on your own. But let me say this. Christian children living with their parents of course are marked by three things. Three only. Three. And as we live with them, let me tell you, a parent will always, whether is a Christian parent or not, will always wish and do good to his or her child. Give us that picture. Give us that picture. I want to, to draw your attention. Do you see? Can you notice somebody? Can you notice somebody? What's a woman on a lia uku kitambia? What's as one one pendi? What's as one one machetan? What has at a sitaki kuana? I don't want to see them. See what? Ukienda huko. When the whole world turns against you, I tell you for sure. There are two people, not even your siblings, your brothers and sisters. At some point, they may reject you and say, this is not my brother. But the people we call parents will stand with you, even when you are on the wrong. I'm not bringing this picture to tell you that this guy is innocent or is guilty. That is not my point. Koti liamua huko baada ya uchunguzi. Huyu ni Joey. You see her mother sitting next to him? Father there? The parents stood with him even after the declaration. Mtu mwingine ikitangazwa hivi anatoka na anaenda zake. Lakini the parents were standing with him. Even the mother, I don't know the father, but the mother got an opportunity to speak before cameras. And she said, I know my son is innocent. That speaks volumes. To anyone seated here, you don't talk to them because you don't support them Umewacha mara ya mwisho ulienda nyumbani ni last year but one na ulienda kawaona hivyo kwa mko sawa haya mimi nimetoka You have no business with them I am here this morning to warn you and encourage you as well parents wazaz wazaz hebu sema wazaz pale nyumbani ukiishi na wao you need to live with them If anything like an African, I will say we have a God in heaven who is supreme. But also we have our parents, our earthly gods with small g. Vile mungu wa minguni anaesa kukulahani na lahana ikaingia moja kwa moja. Hawa wazazi wakikutamukia lahana itaingia maramojo. Hata ukija kwa kalulu wa kuombe ni kukupikisha magoti ya pachini. Kabla ujarudi kwa wazazi Nothing will go. Nothing will happen. Nitakuombea ndio nikuwekelee mikono na hata ukipenda nikuwekelee miguu. But you have to go back to the parents. Wachana na watu wale wengine. Parents. 
Because to now be here to kuwafundish I have fanya nivi to help for no let's go back to the basics. Because some people are suffering because of not living well with their parents. Their parents are crying at home. Their parents are suffering. And some of the children here are driving big cars. I don't mean driving a big car is wrong. No, drive them. Are giving money to God in the church well. They are tithers. But how about parents at home? I would say before you bring anything here, make sure that parents were kosal. Ukiniletea pesa hapa nikajua kidogo hiyo basha unanipa na mzazi kule nyumbani hana chakula. Anavalia hivi hivi. Nikapewa picture tu kitanda anacholalia. Wewe ukilalia 6x6 mattress ni ile ya hata ukiangusha kutoka 100 meters utagonga vya na uruke kwa sababu ni nono. Hiyo ndio unalalia na mzazi wako ile ya inch ni kama nalalia mbao. Nikapata hiyo picha nitakwambia asante. Hii pesa enda ukambaie mzazi. Enda ukamfanyie mzazi. Some parents are suffering and their children are living in town very well. Wamejenga manyumba, anakodisha nyumba ya 50k. Shame on you. I don't know you. But if you are that kind of a child, it's not good. I'm telling you the truth. Na ukitaka kubarikiwa, manake nimesema Mungu akitamka laana na mzazi akitamka laana. Ziko hivi. But when God pronounces blessings to you, you will receive them. And the God of this, you know, your God here mzazi, akitamka baraka kwako. Wacha na hizi zingine unatemewa mata na watu wanapita njia. Eti watu hapana hiyo hakuna mali mzazi akitamka mate hivi akinua mkono mwanangu bwana akubariki na akusindishie undilika na ebindo ondo po wewe usiende kuoga huko eti uchafu no mara moja rusho uweke hapa hiyo ni baraka i don't know kama people wana ni get wewe mungu nisaidie are you getting the point I'm talking about parents, very important people in our lives. In our lives. Afadhali hata usitoe sadaka. Usitoe kitu hapa lakini utume kule nyumbani kwa mzazi. Sasa akiwa poa leta ile ingine sasa. Kanisani. Amen. Amen. Yaani watu wangu I think. Hebu toa Joey. Joey, na umundilit it is it's not appearing like i'm i'm celebrating i'm not celebrating i brought that picture to show that parents will stand with you hata watu wakikuacha na wakikusahau wakikulenga mzazi hata kuacha he will stand with you in and out of season And therefore my message is simple. I don't know it Aisha sa ngapi. If something can happen to end them paka saa sita. Children who are Christian living with their parents are marked by three things. One the obedience to their parents. The obedience to their parents. Very simple, very straight. We have read from Ephesians chapter 6. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is, you know, it continues. But first one, obey. Obeying parents in biblical times was a matter of uh, matter not only of custom, but of the law, the law of God. Biblia kutoka mwanzo. Kija kwa Deuteronomy all the way to Malachi as that Sharia. In fact, it is one of the Ten Commandments. And it applies all times. Children are commanded to obey parents in the Lord 
for this is right. The phrase in the Lord means that this is what the Lord wants you to do. Obeying parents is what the Lord wants you to do as a child. The phrase for this is right implies that the opposite, that is disobeying parents, is wrong. Is wrong. Even Jesus himself. The Bible says in Luke chapter 2 verse 51, if you go there, it says Jesus obeyed his parents. Who are you? Ufika mahali useme, ah, kama msichana moja. Elifika mahali aka aliokoka huko. Na ni makofi kwake. But when she came back home, she began to saw her parents as devils. Elifika mahali aka watusi. Na akaondoka na kikundi cha kueneza injili. She never came back home. Until one day, she came back home feeling ashamed. She could not look at the eyes of the parents. She was bowing down. Why? Because mukienda uko kwa injili na mambo mengine kama ndani ya hao wanaohubiri injili ni mbwa mwitu wanaanza kunyemeleana na wanakulana huyu msichana alikuja pale akiwa na mimba na alitoka ende akahubiri injili what a shame parents will never argue with you especially the independent wale ambao tumekuwa ukimwambia mama wewe kaa kando nichinyongeleshe usije kwangu the parent will not come. But whatever she will be, or he will be, he will just be saying a prayer for you. Hey, how are you? You are, you are, you are shaming me. Look at the way you are wearing, you know. Look at yourself, look at your hair. Look at your surah. Na ujui wewe ndio umezeeshi hiyo sura. Wewe wewe ukitafutiwa. Shame on you. Hivi karibuni wakwako watakufanyia hivyo. So whatever you do to your to your mother, remember that anything disobedience nini na nini it will be done to you. So let us seek to obey our parents. Children are to obey Parents in all things. This is well pleasing to the Lord. According to Colossians 3.20. All things. All things. Presumes. That. They are all in harmony. With God's will. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. The Bible says. I would rather. Obey God than man. That is an indication. Kwamba, obey parents for anything they tell you, they direct you as a child. If at all it is pleasing before God. But when something is against the word of God, the will of God, that is where the rubber meets the road. As parents, because I'm a parent also, as a child, I need to obey. But I'm a parent. I cannot tell my child, rise up. Right now they can, they can agree with me because they may not understand. Niambia mtoto wangu, si mama tuende tukatafute muganga atupatie protection. Ama ni muusisho kwa mambo ya ushirikina. As a big child, you are able to defend it and say to parent, my father, my, my mother, this is not pleasing before God. It's against the word of God. And so, please excuse me on it. But I encourage you to desist from doing that. Because it is not pleasing before God. No, 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 no. You may be the source of light to your father or to your mother. And that might happen so that you may get an opportunity to preach to them. Are you getting my point? So don't just reject Ete kwamba wametangaza tukutane nyumbani sisi wanawake kwa sababu kumeandaliwa wakamba mnajua hii ngata. Ile kitu mnanyweshwa ili either usioe eh si kuoa. Usiroge, angalia mimi naongea mambo ya kuoa sasa. Maana sijui hiyo maneno usiroge 
Ama usiro ngwe pia. Yeah. You are disarmed so that you may not bewitch anyone else. And again, you are harmed so that nobody touches you. Ndiyo maana leo hii manguo yakatolewa bwa utakuta wengine huko wamechanjwa, wengine wamefungiwa vitu huko. Na wengine walifungiwa wakiwa watoi. Na mpaka leo wakaambiwa na mom dad usitoe hiyo kitu ukitoa utakufa. So kila mmoja angangana na yake. Wewe na yako, toa tuone. That is the only time when it comes to things that are displeasing before God. You have an excuse and you will not be disobeying the parent. But again against them as a grown up child. And so Christian children are to show their faith in Christ by obeying their parents whether it is children who are depended on their parents obey children who are independent rather those who have their families i remember this year ken uko na familia yako simama sera yuko wapi kwa kona pale na mam ndio yule josephine karibu sana simama mama ndio you are independent you are a complete unit just like mzekiet aliko complete alikuwa complete pase wakati mlikuwa pamoja huko lakini sasa wewe you are independent but still the word of god commands you to obey that woman na mzee akiwa lokore amen na wale wengine tuko hapa seated be seated please now the second thing this time goes and flies like nothing The second thing is the honor the honor they give to their parents Christian children with your, living with your parents are marked by the obedience and not only the obedience but also the honor verse 2 and 3 honor your father and mother those are your parents which is the first commandment with a promise zingine labda hazina lakini hii inayo inayo which is the first command that is it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth a promise so honoring parents those times and even right now is commanded children must honor their parents both the father and the mother as one of the 10 commandments in the law of Moses in Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 it applies today the word honor implies love to regard highly to show the spirit of respect and consideration thus obedience to one's parents is to be rendered in love and with respect but not under compulsion children are commanded to honor their parents to receive that promise the promise that paul quoted from the old testament in deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 6 that it may go well with you and you may enjoy life on the earth that is a promise if you obey if you honor your parents you will it will be well with you and you will enjoy that is why i said some children are struggling things are happening they keep on asking what has happened to me mungu nimekutendea nini ah basi mungu anakuelekeza mungu wako huko duniani analia kwa njili yako mungu wako huko nimi umejaribu unanitumikia ndio unanitolea lakini mungu wako hapo duniani it will not go well with you and that is why you are not enjoying life on earth why because you don't obey or honor that parent once you do that i can tell you for sure 
I am a testimony. Not that I'm doing well, but I choose, I chose to obey and honor my parents together with this wife of mine. We don't quarrel them. Even when a parent is wrong, we go and sit with them, if not calling. And if you talk to my parent, her parents, whatever they are, they will tell you. This is not about beating my own chest. But we are trying on that end. And I can tell you for sure. Hata kama life iko gumu na monagani, uchumi mbaya na monagani, I enjoy life with my wife here. And I know one thing. Hata kama si mambo mengi, one of the things that is making us enjoy, hata kama life ni ngumu na monagani, is because we obey and we honor our parents. Honoring parents doesn't mean a big on. You will carry them with at the back of your that is not honoring. It is buying them, you know. No. Mzazi anahitaji tu kitu kidogo. Kidogo sana. Kidogo sana. Kuliko ile ambayo unapeleka huyo mrembo. Out. Unaenda mna kanga, mna kula. Chakula cha one city. Unalipa 7000. One city. Whether you are here, you are not married, you are preparing to marry, whether you are here and you are with your wife like Steve hapa na mke wake. Kama vile live you up. New year tulienda mahali. Ile wapeleka mahali na watoto wangu. Tukala, tukesimama 5k. Somebody should interpret that to be it was the first time it was not but in one sitting and today kula pesa nyingi kama hizo na tukila tulikuwa tumepanga wazazi wetu both sides and so for you to enjoy life here honor them and the last one because my time is gone ruka kwa kusema hivi the last one is the support they offer their parents kwa wakati wako soma mark 7 6 to 13 jesus is talking to the teachers of the law who played a lot of hypocrisy they did not take care of others including parents and yet they are saying we obey the law we live by the law and there in between he mentioned something regarding taking care of the parents supporting parents and in first timothy paul talks to the church through his you know the servant of god timothy as he wrote the first letter as we close chapter 5 first 3 you will you will see him talking about supporting standing with widows and in between our parents and he finally says in verse 8 chapter 5 verse 5 you know verse 8 he says this if anyone including children does not provide for his relatives and especially for his immediate family he has denied the family and is worse than an unbeliever that is in support of the command to support our parents i want to end this very quickly by saying caring for aged parents in biblical times was a matter not only of custom but of law children where and even today as we bring it to today are to support parents as taught by Jesus in Mark chapter 7 verse 6 to 13 this he did when he exposed the hypocrisy of the pharisees traditions the command to honor parents implied care by adult children thus the duty to love respect and care for parents never ends and it did not end the moment you got married When we got married with this woman we sat down and agreed on the support we are going to give to our parents 
and to this date that has remained. Every month in our budget and others most, most you know, support, we consider them. It doesn't matter whether the other siblings are doing it or not. Because it reaches a point where unasema, wewe muzazi sayote unanitegemea, sijui unanitisha, sijui unanitumea, sijui unaniflash, siu flash wale wengine pia. No. You came into this world alone. Hao jamaa wengine, either uliwapata ama walikuja nyuma yako. Support that parent as if you are the only child. Wakati kimeumana, my siblings wengine ni bure. And I have them. And we have them too. Wale ambao, mama, baba wanasumbuka nyumba. Na watatuma kakitu wakati mama amepiga simu, awachukui. Anapiga simu, wame block. Alafu baada ya nyu wanamblock. Baada ya three months. And alafu wanamutumia two so. Hebu angalia haba. Na ukiwauliza, ah, sinilimutumia mama miambili. Kwenda uko miambili ni nini? What is 200? Hata nikikupa saa hii Eunice utaenda wa utapeleka wapi? Hakuna kitu. 200. And those are siblings we have and I know yours. Ni ngori kutiko kuliko wangu. Parents. Ah. Ah. Wewe uta support parents eh? Utakapokuwa mkubwa. Asante. Yo yo. Parents are to be supported. Please, please, children are to support parents. As taught by Paul also in 1 Timothy 5, 3 8. Children says are to repay their needy parents in verse 4. 1 Timothy chapter 5. Thus we are to provide security for our parents and grandparents as needed. Failure to do so, verse 8 says, we deny the faith and makes us worse than unbelievers. And so, dependent children are to support their parents in their daily chores. Yes, you may not provide. Akwapi, kuna wasichana wangu wanacheza hapa, kina Abigail. Na wale wengine, watoto amujanza kuhan glo. Wazazi unawati unawaheshimisha na pia wakiwa wanafanya kitu usikae huko na katuni usiende huko nje kucheza wazazi wa support kama ni kuinua kubeba kitu that is the support we are talking about we are not talking about big things here we are talking about everything that is doable just me na kwa pale huyu hajafika mahali pa and right now she supports and she has to support the parents by carrying out some of the chores kazi tu dogo dogo pale nyumbani na kwa njia hiyo unajipatia baraka na hata Mungu anakubariki mwenyewe hata kabla wazazi watamke baraka kwako independent children are also to support their parents in their needy in, in their in their normal needs provide them with basic needs food clothing shelter medication children should not let parents suffer when they die They seek to give them a bit fitting send off like it is happening with some today neglecting their parents at home they suffer until death then these children the same same children they form groups to give them befitting burial then the balances wanabaki na hiyo do let me tell you hole wako wewe kama you are not taking care of your parents whether they are home they are around you are neglecting them and then wakati wakienda wewe ndio wakati wa kutafutana na marafiki una form group unaweka watu ndani zaidi ya 200 wanakutolea mapesa i want to give my father my dad a befitting sent off did you give him at first a befitting life Sijui wa Afrika tutahamushwa na nini. Sijui malaika atatoka mbinguni haje. Tunashughulikia mfu kuliko aliye hai. Sasa hiyo ndio tunaungana. Na wengine ambao wao kuweza kusafiri kwenda kumuona mzazi. 
ni hao wanachukua wiki mzima wanaomba ruhusu tena wao wote pamoja na watoto and then wanafunga safari wamejaza huko nyuma magari yao na mengine ni ya kukodisha hawajali gharama because whatsapp group inaleta shame on us mzazi afurahishwe ahudumiwe atakiwe care wakati akiwa hai acha kuzumbua watu wakati ameenda and hapo mnaandika celebrating a life well lived <laughs> mbona nasikia kupandika mtu na ninaomba nasema huyu wangu nimeshamwambia nikienda kwanza kabla kama ka, ataenda hataenda mel hii mambo ya kuselebrate sitaki na kama utakuja kwangu ku celebrate usije wakati ninawa kwa mchangani ninaweza kuuliza kuuliza ruhusa Mungu nikamwambia nipe tu dakika moja nitoke zee <laughs> dakika moja tu niangalie nione hiyo program nione kama mtabaki hapo mnachaka nani ataka na vile mnaongopa mfu let's take care of our parents when they are alive and it will be very simple Mungu akiwalaza itakuwa rahisi kuwashughulikia na kuwapa mazishi ya heshima Mungu ataleta watu hata utangangana na wengine hapa wanangangana kwa sababu pia kuto support wazazi huku huku waishi vizuri na watu watu wanapokuwa na jambo jamaa ndio huyu i will see you na hiyo ni ni kama kusema kwa heri atoto wana mtano ukimpigia baadaye apatikane mpaka wakati kimeisha ndio atakuja kwa ah i got so busy give me up to tuesday i will see you i will send something Wacha kitakapofika kwako watu watakufanyia hivyo hivyo he who refreshes others he will be refreshed as well refresh others including your parents and when it will come your time to be refreshed including your children to be supporting you it will happen let me tell you i've seen i've seen i've seen one abusing dishonoring not supporting specifically her mother in law i'm talking about a woman she had no respect na si kitu ya kusikia she had no respect for her mother in law i don't know alimuona kama nini let me tell you alizikwa na akaenda asa wakati wake ukafika she was crying in the hospital watoto wake wengine hata wakushughulika kuja kumuona na hiyo bomba mambo ijakuwa mazuri tena i'm telling you so whatever you do to your parent this is a warning and it is a warning even to me because i told you i have parents it's a warning to all of us whatever we do to our parents it will happen to us at a maradufu then take it this way nifanye mema niishi na yeye vizuri ndio wakati wangu utakapofika kwangu iwe mara kwangu iwe mara so the way you live with your parents tells a lot about your faith i end it here with those of us who are parents again now now let us help our parents our children let us give them a conducive environment to live with us right to obey us to honor us and to support us tuache hii tabia ya kuwaonyesha kwamba huyu baba yenu si kitu acha neni na yeye huyu mama yenu ni bure vitu vyote vileto kwangu eti kwamba wakati tunamtumia tunamtumia inabidi tutumie manake wako wawili kwa wazazi wake tutumie mamu shia yake na dadi shia yake no eti tukienda huko nyumbani tunamuona baba tunamuona mama no we have refused that and we will not allow the parents to you know we are putting them together and there is no secret tunawaambia wazazi sasa tunaangana na nyinyi sasa ile tutawaacha nayo ndio hii parents let's provide a conducive environment usije wewe mama ukajipatia watoto watoto wako upande wao na dadi ako peke yake na especially aki retire no wonder many men when they retire they go to grief ali why some women 
now begin to turn the attention from the, of her husband to the children. And especially wak, wale wako na do. Tunajua hiyo. Na utakuta we mama wengine wanahama kijijini. Wanakuja kuishi na wala naenda kuangalia watoto wiki moja tu. Na sasa ni mwaka wapili. Na muzee anahangaika kule kijijini peke yake. Josephine, I know you came shortly. I need you to be back. I need you to be back in the name of Jesus. Waone muende, ona Ken malizana na wao. Alafu as soon as tomorrow tomorrow but one, I thank God huyu ndi mfano mwema. Ni ruhusu tu nikushike mabega kwa heshima ya Mungu. I know. Kwache ni kuacha wazee huko. Hana mtu wa kumpikia. Muzi ana jikokota tu kuhakisha kuna kitu na anashindwa mpaka anaishia kutengeneza chai rangi na anamke haleluya mama mmoja akawa na kijana wake alikuwa anafanya kazi town kijana kabla hajaoa mwezi ukifika ukiisha manake wako nyumbani na dad ndio huyo town kupokea ile mshahara aandaliwe arudi nyumbani That's why I'm talking about conducive environment. Hasa kijana wa watu, unajua uko town alikuwa anaishi peke yake ka nyumba ka bed sitter. So maadhi akija there was no problem because ali relocate. Mama akaishi kako kwa nyumba siku mbili siku tatu and then akienda anarudi. Sasa kafika mahali akaoa. Wakakaa tao shortly and then akamurejesha nyumbani. Hasa alipomurejesha nyumbani mwezi ukiisha ukiisha wa kwanza first month dada wa wenyewe anaendea mshahara anaendea pesa tau ni wakati wa zamani kidogo so mwezi wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu ulipofika mama akasema wewe wewe ni wewe ulienda mwezi huu mwezi ule mwingine mwezi sasa mwezi huu ni mimi nao wazazi tuambieni wewe unaenda kupata nini tau na mzee wako akuapa kumbuka huyu hebu hebu simama wewe haya haya huyu huyu ni mke wa uh, waita si ndio sasa huyu Aende kwa waita kupokea pesa peke yake. It's not about money. She may not she may be labda amepangwa akapangika. So she's not going that look for money. She's going that look for something else. So what are you saying? Your son is now married and you are yet leaving his wife at home when the tao shame on such a parent. Parents, let's help our children to to serve, to support, to obey. To support us as parents. Father, we thank you this morning. This message is heavy. I want to hand it there. May you continue speaking to your people. May you continue to minister to your people and speak to children those of us having parents and speak to the parents themselves. They stick to their lane as we stick to our lanes as children. And we will be able to live with them as children of light. We thank you in Jesus name. God bless you.